We are back with parenting expert Dr. Debbie Gilboa, or Dr. G, as she's called. She's the mother of four boys herself, so she knows how hard it is sometimes to get those kids to open up to tell you how they're feeling or how their day is going. Yeah, that's why she came up with this new game that's being released today to help get your children, children talking around the dinner table. So, hi again, Dr. G. We are ready to play. And we're also calling in Ron Smiley, a dad of two girls himself, to play with us. And how, how does this work exactly, Dr. G? Okay, so here's the deal. I, I can't take credit for this. My amazing business partner, this entrepreneur here in Pittsburgh, Alana Schwartz, she wanted to engage her son, David, in conversation. And if you've ever tried to engage people who are just kind of distracted or not feeling it, you know how easy it is to get one word answers. Yeah. But she also knew that it would really help their whole family and him for him to be able to talk about what was happening. So we partnered with Eaton Park and we have, and, and you guys have played with me once before the game that we originally developed, mm -hmm. but right now, starting today for the next however long supplies last, everybody who orders a kid's meal, uh, dine-in, takeout, or delivery at Eaton Park will get one of these as a part of their meal for their family to take home and have. You spin it. Mm -hmm. Every three-year-old knows how you play. <laughs> Try it. It's really fun, you guys. Spinning is really fun. Yeah. And... If you're not sure what the prompt means, it explains it on the back. Aww, but anybody who can talk, if they have somebody there to read to them what the prompt says, can answer these. And grown-ups have to do it too. So you start with the youngest person at the table. Okay. That's Heather. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll go with it. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, so um, let me spin it here. And mine says challenge. Okay, so challenge on the back. What is something hard that you did this week? Oh. I went back to the gym yesterday, and 14 oh. minutes left in the class. I thought, well, I could leave, but there's just 14 <laughs> minutes left, so I <laughs> kept going. Good for you. That was my challenge this week. And that's awesome because not only did you go, you went back, which is an even bigger challenge, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, so then it goes right. to the left so after that. Right? Right, so on my screen, that's David. So David, oh, you spin. Okay, all right, I'll put it down here. Oh, wait, I got a good spin, it took a while. Oh, low light. No, but this is good, right, okay. Dr. G? Even yeah. with the low light, tell what us why What is something that's... tough that happened today? Uh -oh. uh, I got up late. <laughs> uh, I was running late until I got to work. I had to call Jill on the way in about something. Like, it was kind of a rough start to the day is what I'm getting at, but you know, things are fine now. And what's the point of talking about your low lights? Well, especially for adults, it's really helpful for kids to see that we also have challenges yeah. and that we sometimes the day doesn't start so great or whatever it is that happened. And kids will come back to you a day or two later and say, hey, was today better? Or what did you do to remember? They're really interested in how we overcome our challenges. Right. Ron, have you have you found that to be true with your daughters? Oh yeah, definitely. They always like to see what I'm going through and uh, my challenges as well. And a lot of times, you know, you uh, kind of use those life experiences that you've gone through as well with your little ones. And I know everyone does that. Yeah, it really helps. All right, you spin. All right, here we go. Ah. I kind of miss the first spin. That's kind of like my basketball days. <laughs> Kindness is what it says right now. Uh, let's say it says, what's something nice you did for someone today or that someone did for you? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So do, 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 a kindness challenge. Um, you know, um, they, the, uh, a couple of the ladies in the back were helping me, my mic, I, I probably hit a button and it wasn't working <laughs> earlier. So they got me going up again, uh, getting me a new mic and, and all that good stuff. So uh, even though, yeah, so they were very kind in doing that. That's, That's nice. awesome. <laughs> all right. Dr. G, Hi. you're up. It's your turn, Dr. G. I got gratitude. Oh, I Ooh. love that. What's someone or something you're grateful for? So. Actually, because it's Pittsburgh Today Live, I want to tell you, I've been thinking about this launch of Leaton Park, how grateful I am for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has a real feeling of pulling together, you know, neighbors helping neighbors and people caring what's going on or hearing about what we're not doing well and trying to do better. And Eat Park decided to work with two Pittsburgh moms to put this out so that everybody could have an easier time communicating with each other and help each other. This game teaches kids problem solving and storytelling and how to ask for help. And I feel like raising my kids in Pittsburgh, if my kids ask for help, they're, they're likely to get it. Oh, 
Oh, I we'll end it on that. that. What a great oh, yeah. ending, yes. Dr. G. I can't wait to use this at our dinner table tonight. Yeah. I'm so imagine? looking forward and to please, it. And please, you guys, Eden Park sometime soon because I think, I believe they're going to run out. So yeah, awesome. go okay. dine in, take out, order, you know, pick it up, delivery, whatever you got to do. It's yeah. fun. Thank you. so, And we are grateful for you, Dr. G. Thanks so much. Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful day. You too. You too. And you can look for the game at Eaton Park restaurants, as you heard, starting today or online. We posted the link for you at PittsburghTodayLive.com. And look for more advice from Dr. Debbie Gilboa, parenting expert, author, family physician, and now game creator, <laughs> when she joins us as a regular contributor right here on PTL.